Well, hello, my wonderful fire signs. Welcome to your weekly reading with yours truly, Crystal Doty. This is for those of you who have a sun, moon, or rising in Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or if you're cross-watching anyone with that combination. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Um, we're going to start with our mantra um, message. This is maybe something that you might want to write down this week, something that you want to say upon rising, or if you feel a little nervous this week. This is a beautiful mantra that might help center you and give you the perspective that you need this week, okay? So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, what is the mantra that you need this week in moving forward? I'm unapologetic about what I desire and trust that I focus, and trust that what I focus on will grow. I will say that again, um, so you can write this down. You can even pause the video if you need to. But it says, I'm unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I focus on will grow. So one of the things I love with fire signs is helping you become more unapologetic about who you are, what you are, and what your desires are. As I've learned about astrology and the personalities of different signs, I will say that my heart goes out to fire signs because as young people, and maybe even still today, because of your nature, your fiery nature, you've probably been told by society and people and parents to, to you know, dim your light, you know, that you're too much, you're too loud, your desires are too, you know, extravagant or whatever. And I'm here to tell you that nothing could be further than the truth. We need all flavors in this world. And the fire signs that I know that are closest to me are the ones that light me up, that make me feel like I am okay to have what I want that you know it's safe to express myself in whatever way I want and to live out loud you guys are the ones that give the rest of us permission and so if there's any of you out there who are dimming your light or playing small or that feel like you're just too much we need you to step into your power and to be more unapologetic about who you are and what you're about it's inspiring and those who want to squelch you you know, they're just intimidated and it's their issue, not yours. You were born to be who you are. You were born to want what you want. And so I'm just celebrating you this week. I just feel like this is a week where I want to wrap my arms around you and be like, go for it. Go for it. Do Go for what you want. And I love that you have this little affirmation here that actually says, I trust that what I focus on will grow. So if we focus on playing small, you'll shrink yourself and you're gonna freaking hate it. But if you focus on expanding and stepping into your power and walking into your prowess and you know going after what you want and if you, you focus on growing something, it's gonna grow, yes. Focus on your fire is what I'm hearing, loud and clear from my fire signs. Focus on your fire, your passion, your creativity, your motivation, your drive. You know, I, I don't personally have a lot of fire in my chart, so I actually lean on you guys. I personally and everybody needs you to be, <laughs> to live out loud and to live large if that's how you're feeling. Okay, that was a big message. Let's go on to the mermaids and dolphins and see what else my fire signs need to know. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, what do you need to know about this week? This is an overview for your week. I'm unapologetic about what I desire and I trust that what I focus on will grow. So what do you want to focus on, fire signs? If what you focus on grows, what do you want? Being very intentional about what you focus on. All right, what else do my, um, air, my sorry, I was going to say Aries. What else do my fire signs need to know? Rest. You've been working hard. Take a nap and get some rest. Yes, this is wonderful. So some of you needed permission for this. So, you know, not only were you maybe squelched, <laughs> but you were taught that you have to work too hard. How many of you were taught that in order for you to make money and survive, you had to be in pain and suffer? And that if you stop to take a rest, idle hands are the work of the devil. Do you allow yourself to just lay down, take a nap, be lazy? The, actually, there's no such thing as being lazy anymore. I want everyone to just hear that loud and clear. In the world that we live in, in our culture, with what we have going on, there's no such thing as being lazy. There is such thing as letting yourself recover. There is such thing as balance. There is such thing as letting yourself take an exhale when you've been inhaling so much. 
There is such thing as letting the universe take care of you after you've been taking care of everyone else. There is such thing as your body is not a machine. It needs just as much rest as it does activity. Did you know that? Just as much. And sleep is sleep doesn't count because sleep is just the opposite of being awake. Sleep helps you so that you can be awake. It doesn't help you do all your activities though. Rest is the opposite of activity. So if you want to be more active, you're going to need more rest. I also feel intuitively for some of you fire signs that things are about to really take off for you and that you're gonna be happy. You're gonna be glad that you took some rest this week because I think the weeks that follow are going to be, um, especially July, I think that um, things are really gonna pick up and you're gonna be glad that you got a lot of downtime. Plus, I think it's during the time that we rest that we're really able to tap into ourselves and see where we're at and kind of do like a self inventory. You know, how am I doing? How's my diet doing? You know, do I, you know, where am I? Do I need to make changes? You know, that sort of thing. So, so be unapologetic about resting and uh, taking care of yourself. You give us all permission to do that. And let me tell you, my favorite fire signs are those of you, and, and I really get along with this because Libras love luxury. So those of you fire signs that really know how to like luxuriously rest, right? Um, you get the pillows and the blankets and a foot massage and some yummy expensive treats. Oh yeah. That's the way to do it. It was a fire sign that taught me how to be luxurious. So I have a lot of love for you guys. If you're a fire sign and you're not doing that, this is your week. All right, here we go. Aries. Leo. And Sagittarius. Aries, we have the Knight of Earth. You have been really working very hard. The Knight of Earth is about hard work. And it's about being persistent. And it's about finishing what you started. And I think when we when we look at you know the, the influences here, Aries, you have been really working hard. It's okay to rest. It's okay because the what you're working on right now, this is whatever it is that comes to mind as I'm reading this card, that's the, the issue, that's the situation that I'm talking about. It's something you've been working at really hard. The thing of it is, Aries, is that this is not gonna happen overnight. This is a long-term thing that you're working on. And so because it's you know, earth means step by step. It's not the night of fire, which you resonate with. Fire's like, ooh, I can make this happen right now. What you're building is long-term stability. And so it takes time, which means that we're not gonna just get it done and then rest. We're going to pace ourselves and rest as we go along. You have to get that kind of a mindset with whatever it is that this is um, talking about. Otherwise you are going to burn out. You're going to get sick. So if you need to rest, don't wait until it's done. Take breaks from what it is that you're working on. Now for some of you, this might be a career, like a long-term career goal that you just are going after. And I love the motivation. I love the vivaciousness. I love the, the way that you go after things, Aries. But you're building something brick by brick. You're, bringing, you're building a, a very strong foundation. And so it takes time. So pace yourself. You will finish what you started, but if you don't take breaks, if you don't pace yourself, if you don't slow down, you will burn out and then you won't finish it. This could be applying to a relationship and it could also just be replying to your spiritual growth. Like you're not going to receive enlightenment overnight. Okay. So it's one book at a time, one concept at a time, one, you know, forgiveness, act of forgiveness at a time, right? It's just one step at a time and you will get the job done. So be unapologetic in the way what you're desiring and focus on what you're wanting to grow. And I'm gonna say, pace yourself, take your time. It's a good week to take some downtime. Leo, we have the tower, major transformation happening in your life. Um, I feel that some of you, um, there's some sort of a structure or some sort of a foundation that seems to be crumbling right now. And this could be really causing all sorts of feelings and emotions. And I just want you to know your feelings and emotions are valid. I also feel like there's a part of you that's desiring the dismantling of this foundation of some sort. You, you, you can't really explain why it, it kind of looks a little destructive or like most people would be freaking out. You're not really freaking out. You're like, yeah, this is actually kind of gonna be good, right? But because there's so much going on around you, you do need to have some rest. Even if you feel like you're not as physically active as you normally are, I think your mind needs to rest. 
So I'm saying that there's something big. Again, if, if, if this reading makes you scared, then I'm not talking to you because the Leos that I'm talking to are the ones who know about the dismantling of this. This could be a career, a relationship, um, a perception, like the way you've been looking at the world. Something is crumbling, but I really get this feeling that you're like, yes, I want this. This is actually, this is actually going to set me free. Like this is going to help me grow. And I'm unapologetic for the fact that, you know, Leo, I wouldn't be surprised if you lit the match <laughs> to burn it down, right? You were the one that was like, yeah, this, this has to, this has to go away. This maybe you spent some time building something and then you realize it's not what you really wanted. And so you're okay to just let it crumble. You're okay to walk away from it. And it's like, it's like the, the Leos I'm talking to are the ones that like, there's that, you know, that scene of Vin Diesel walking in slow motion away from an explosion. And he's just like this hard ass. This is you. Okay. So it's like, you've been working really hard towards something. Um, and now you're like, I'm putting a match in it and I'm walking away and I'm okay with it, man. And it feels good. And I'm slow motion walking away from some sort of yeah, dismantling. I don't want to say I don't want to call it destruction because nobody's getting hurt. That might be the the big key here. Nobody's getting hurt. You're just walking away from a situation that you no longer want, and that's okay. People may not understand what you're doing, but guess what, Leo? You know, hair toss, snap your finger, walk away. It's all good. You're going into the right direction. The cool thing about this is that by walking away or by uh, leaving a perception um, or allowing this event to just happen and and seeing the good out of it. Like you, there's something that you're gonna say, yeah, this is what I'm getting out of it. So you're getting, it's not a total loss. I guess that's why this tower card's not so in, you know intimidating. There's not a loss here. There's actually a powerful insight that leads to the greatest change of your life. So yeah, I think y'all are gonna need a nap and that's okay. Sagittarius, you've got the four of air. Definitely the week for you to make some time for yourself. Stand back and review a situation from a bird's eye view. You know, sometimes you got to close your eyes to see correctly. I said that in somebody else's reading. Sometimes you need to close your eyes to see the truth. And so this is a lot of meditation for you, Sagittarius. I did record a, med a meditation before I recorded your weekly readings. You can find that on my YouTube channel. Um, that might really help you, actually. Um, there's something that you're not going to be able to see when you're just go, 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 do, 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 do. You know, you're, you're, you've got your hand, you're just going, going, going. It's not until you actually stop and rest. I am actually hearing that this week, it's okay. If somebody needs to call in a mental health day or a sick day or a vacation day or something like that, do it. You need to sleep, you need to rest. And I think it's with your eyes closed, either in a dream or a meditation or resting that you're going to get real clarity. But we do need to calm down the nervous system because Sagittarius, I do feel like you've been galloping away. You know, you're the centaur, you've been running. And this is, again, I want to say with my fire signs, you guys, when you go after something and, and you just are who you are unapologetically, and I love that about you. But now it's time to be unapologetic in the way that you need to stop and take stock. To stand back and review something. Um, to, to, to see something maybe you haven't seen as you've been, you know, running along. Um, take in the scenery, you know. And if you desire to rest and to, to chill out and to back away from something, I feel like some of you might be asking for a break or some space from a person. That's okay. You don't have to explain yourself. Somebody needed to hear that. You don't have to explain yourself. People will see you know what this is the thing because because fire signs have been told things right you, you feel like you have to prove yourself or explain yourself I'm here to tell you that sometimes the best explanation is to just show them you know they may not be able to understand what you're doing and who you are and what you're about so it's not about talking about it it's about you going within closing your eyes taking stock looking at things from your own unapologetic perception and making a decision that really works for you because you can see the outcome better than maybe somebody else can. And so, you know, it's your direction. It's your guidance. Nobody else is getting your guidance for your life. And so, no, they're not going to see it as clearly as you can. So as you take these steps moving forward, they'll see in time that you made the right decision. 
So yes, stand back and review the situation, Sagittarius. For all my fire signs, release the need to explain yourself. Release other people's projections and judgments upon you. Let them go. I am unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I focus on will grow. Take a breather this week. You'll be glad you did. All right, my beautiful fire signs. As always, I'm sending you so much love and light. Remember, if you want a one-on-one, you can go to crystaldoty.com. If you want to support me further, you can join my um, membership. It's only 11 11 a month. You get more extended, like 30, 20 to 30 minute you know, readings for your signs there in Patreon. Um, plus a lot of other stuff. You can look into that. But thank you for supporting me today. I am always sending you all the angel blessings. I want you to have a wonderful week. And until I do see you again, many blessings.